Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm making a start on the four mast and obviously I just brought my lathe over and I've recently bought a new tool so I could turn the lathe into a sanding disc and I found it a lot easier to use it to get a nice straight edge for carving the top mast. I'm also going to use it just to uh, for the bibs just to need a flat spot on the mast so I'm just going to do a couple of passes with that and carry on from there. Okay, so I'll just use a sanding wheel on the middle lathe and I've sanded in some flat spots for the hounds, for the rubbing paunch and for the cheeks. So I'm just going to fit them now. Okay, so I've just fitted both the hounds. All they do is just need a little bit of work, a little bit of smoothing off and edging. All I'm gonna do now is just gonna glue. Just cut all their cheeks to size. I'm just gonna glue them. One of the cheeks and the mast. Edge. Okay, so both the cheeks are dry, and as in a previous video, I'm going to move away from the instructions on how to build the mast. And I'm going to move more on to obviously working out the plans of this book, the anatomy of Nelson's ships, trying to get a little bit more accurate, a bit more pleasing to the eye. So, what I'm going to do now is just going to mark for the cheeks and the bibs and just try and carve it and make it blend in rather than just two pieces of wood. Okay, so I've just spent the last hour just uh, sanding and slightly shaping the hounds and the cheek. So I would like to put a bit more detail into it, but I'm a bit restricted with the wood that came with this kit. It's not the greatest quality wood, so so yeah, I'm happy with that. I've done a little bit of detail in the bottom of the cheek, as you can see from the pictures. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to the iron hoops. I'm going to do it different from the uh, the main mast. Bring the main mast over. When I built the main mast, I did the process of walling. Which was just a case of obviously wrapping four, four of them cotton round and glue it on. And obviously that was a process of walding. But I've been doing some research and I found out that the discontinued walding before Trafalgar. And obviously I'm one of trying to build this to uh, represent how it was on the Trafalgar. I'm gonna have to do it a different way. So I'm just gonna mark up the mass now. I'm gonna try and find a better processor. Add in the eye noobs. So I just to mark all the positions on the mass. I just added, added the first iron hoop. Well, first impression of an iron hoop. I was going to use a couple of things. I was going to use a little bit of styrene. But as I tried to bend it, I realised I will not be able to manipulate it enough around the mast that I wanted to. So I gave all that idea. I was going to order some 
obviously really 0.5 mil uh, brass sheet but obviously same again it's more cost so as I've obviously been thinking about what to do I remember the comment from a guy who was in my HMS feature group and he said he'd used masking tape to make the eye noobs so I thought I'd give that a go and I think it's turned out okay so I'll just cut some more and I'll show you the process Just cut it off behind the rubbing punch so you won't be able to see that join. But I think that looks okay. I think that's once that's painted, now you look really nice. Okay, so I've just finished handing all the brass hoops. Just made all them mas masking tape. I was cutting them at two mil. I think looking okay. I was originally marked all the positions on the plan, but I started to add them. I soon realised it it wasn't looking right compared to a picture I had of the four masts that I taken when I went down to see the victory. So in the end, I just obviously used a picture and added the reference points the hoops using that okay so now I'm just going to finish this off I'm going to add all the trussle trees I'm going to add the bibs and I'm going to have the rubbing, rubbing paunch Just cutting down the bib slightly to size. They're slightly a bit oversized on the on the kit now. To the new hounds that I've carved myself. So I'm just going to cut a bit off and just shape the end slightly.
lots of rubbing points dry I've added the bibs glued in place and I've also added the trussel trees if you notice I made the masthead undersized this time because I'm going to build it out to make it a little bit more how the masthead should be but that'll be the next video I've got quite a bit of work to do on that so I thought I'd make it into a two part this, this video this week I think that looks okay. Looks a lot more accurate to obviously the pictures I saw. I hope you agree. Well, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want to see part two, which will be out next week, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time.